Let us now have a look at question 10, the last question of section A. In the manufacture of sulfuric acid by the contact process, sulfur dioxide reacts reversibly with excess oxygen in the presence of vanadium 5 oxide as at a relatively low temperature to form sulfur trioxide. Write the equation for the reaction leading to the formation of sulfur trioxide. So we have been told that sulfur dioxide reacts with excess oxygen reversibly. So that means under our reactants we must have sulfur dioxide reacting with oxygen and we must have a reversible reaction. So we have to use these two two-way arrows in the presence of vanadium 5 oxide at relatively low temperature to form our sulfur trioxide. And then we have to balance our e equation with the tools. So initially we had something like this. And then we have to balance oxygen because this side we have for 2 plus 2. So if I put here a half, our equation will be balanced with 3 oxygen atoms both sides. Then I multiply it out by 2. So that's how we come up with our balanced equation. Suggest a reason for the use of excess oxygen. Now we know that we are adding oxygen to ensure that our oxygen reacts with the sulfur dioxide to produce sulfur trioxide. If we use little oxygen, that means our sulfur dioxide will be in excess. And if that happens, we know that we shall have to deal with a mixture of our sulfur dioxide together with sulfur trioxide. But we don't want to remain with unutilized sulfur dioxide. So one of the main reasons is to ensure that all the expensive and poisonous sulfur dioxide reacts or we can say gets used up. So we want to ensure that the oxygen we have added brings about a complete utilization of all the sulfur dioxide that we have such that at least we remain with our excess oxygen and sulfur trioxide because excess oxygen is not poisonous as compared to sulfur dioxide. So we want to ensure that all the expensive and toxic sulfur dioxide is used up such that we don't have to deal with it in our plant. So they're also asking, suggest a reason for the use of low temperature. So whenever you have a reaction, our previous reaction also tends to release heat. If you have a reaction between A and B to produce C with evolution of heat, meaning this reaction is actually exothermic. Reactions that tend to give out heat are favored by low temperatures because if you increase the temperature the heat given off will somehow be limited or it will be prevented from being released as such the reaction will tend to shift backwards such that less of C is formed so whenever we have an exothermic reaction they tend to be favored by low temperatures so in our previous example Sulfur dioxide in oxygen to form sulfur trioxide is also exothermic and as such high temperatures are not required. The forward reaction to produce our sulfur trioxide is favored by low temperature because we tend to release heat. So to make the equilibrium yield of sulfur trioxide high, so what that is saying is that our sulfur dioxide in presence of oxygen, if we use lower temperatures, we shall have more of sulfur trioxide being formed. That's why high temperatures are not required. So we have to use low temperature. State one reason why vanadium 4, 5 oxide is preferred as a catalyst in the manufacture of sulfuric acid. So in most of this experiments or industrial manufacture man always has to ensure that whatever they use 
is easy to obtain. So one reason is vanadium 5 oxide is cheaper than other catalysts like platinum and so it's also not easily poisoned by impurities. Yes, like anything, as long as something comes into contact, it can poison a given catalyst so that it does not effectively act as a catalyst. So vanadium 5 oxide is not easily poisoned by impurities. That's why it's preferred. So cheaper and not easily poisoned are good reasons as to why we use it as a catalyst. That's all we had for section A. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.